Hello, today we're going to set up a 1D touch with rotation. I'm going to start with my program with my robot in the home position. I'm going to record the first point in my program. Now what I'm telling the robot to do, I'm giving it an instruction. This instruction is going to be found under the F1 instruction key, touch sensor, and you're going to look for search start. The first value it's asking for is your touch schedule number. In this example, I'm using touch schedule number three. I'm going to use PR number 16 to store my offset data. Now I'm going to bring my robot into position for my first search. So I'm going to bring the robot down into position for my search. I'm going to record this point with the F1 point key as a J motion with a fine termination. I'm changing the end line termination from CNT to a fine termination. What I'm going to do now is record another point in the exact same location as linear motion with a fine termination. I'm also changing the position ID to match line number three. The way this works is line three, the first position ID two, is the robot getting to the search location. Line four, the second position ID two, is going to be the robot performing the search from that location. To tell the robot to search from that location, cursor to the end of the line, one point past fine, press F4 choice, and go into search. Now you need to tell the robot which direction to search. In this example, the robot's gonna to come towards me, which is Y plus. So I'm gonna select my Y direction and press enter. Now that I'm doing a 1D with rotation, I have to search two times in the Y direction. So I'm gonna bring my robot into position for my second Y direction search. I'm gonna record my first point for the robot to get to that location, and I'm gonna record another point in the exact same location. I'm going to change the position IDs to match as I did for my first search. I'm going to cursor to the end of the line, press F4 choice, and select search. Again, I'm going to direct the robot towards me, which is the Y plus direction. Now, a 1D with rotate requires one search. You have to touch it twice in that direction. So here I did my first Y search. Here's my second Y search. Now I'm going to tell the robot to stop searching. To do that, I'm going to go under F1 instruction, touch sensor, search end. Now I'm going to record a point in space for my robot to safely move away from the object. Now the next motion points I'm going to record in my program are going to be my approach, my weld start, my weld end, and my escape point. At any point, if my part were to move, I would like those points to move with my part. So I have to give the instruction to the robot to do that. F1 instruction, touch sensor, and select touch offset. It's asking for a position register. I'm going to use position register 16 again. Now I'm going to teach my program like normal. I'm going to bring the robot down to my approach point. I'm going to record that point. I'm going to bring the robot down to my weld start location. I'm going to record that point. I'm going to bring the robot to my weld end location. I'm going to record that point. And I'm going to teach an escape point. Now, my approach, weld start, weld end, and my pull-out point are all going to be moved with my part. The next point I'm going to have is the robot going back home. I don't want that point to move, so I'm going to tell the robot to stop moving. F1 instruction, go to the option called touch sensor, and select touch offset end. I'm going to record another point in space, I'm going to change that position ID back to one to send the robot back home. What I'm gonna do now is verify that my touch schedule is set, my master flag is turned on, and what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna execute my program. First time you run the program, run the program through with the master flag turned on. This way it allows the robot to learn the zero position of the part.
The robot just learned the zero position of the part, and now the robot's gonna run through down the weld path that was taught. When the program is complete, the robot is gonna go back home. I'm gonna run the program again with the master flag turned off to make sure the robot accepted the touch that we had. I'm gonna go and turn the master flag off. And now I would run the program again just to verify everything was successful. The robot comes in, does the first search in Y, the second search in Y, and now it's gonna come through and run the taught path. What we're gonna do now, when the program is complete, we're gonna move the part in one direction and also rotate it. Now I'm gonna run the program. The robot's gonna come down, search for the part. First search in Y, second search in Y. Now it's gonna take that information and apply the offset to the path. And now the robot travels down the path of the part. This is how you program a 1D with rotation with touch sensing.